And we have a picture. Nice. Uh, allow me to adjust some settings here, so <clears throat> we can we, te we can continue. Last time we were comping to uh, well, Space Hawk, and well, it it wasn't safe <clears throat> at all. <laughs> okay, I can I can hear myself. So, short sound check. All right, so so we are here. Uh, they were <clears throat> well, special Hulk, for example, and now we have one route that leads to the well, secondary route would lead to directly to the Telikos, but we could actually not to risk it because it's it's blood red, which is not good. I kind of like how these the warp currents go. Nothing goes in the straight line in a, in a warp. So we need to risk the yellow route here. Road is dangerous. Okay, so I can reduce road difficulty safe. Uncharted system. <clears throat> so basically you are kind of ending to the random Random shit. Okay, there's a pirates. Pirates and stuff. Ah, finally! Some good old class history. That's not the. That's. Wow. The, these are actually very old battleships. Melta cannons, and they got jump on us. But they had three of them. Oh no. Melta cannons. Oh, that's a lance. Ouch. Very tricky. Out, out of our forward weapon. Macro cannons, open fire! Luckily, we have a uh, lots of cannons. All hands, prepare for acceleration. Fire at will. Yeah, that was proper lands. Can you move an attack starting from the next turn? Make every shot count. Now move forward. Play the void, sort them out. Ah, okay, so there, there's a, there, these kind of. I should probably fire them first. They are going to circle around. Well, surprise. Target point within a nice. <laughs> that was that was very happy. Salvo. Oh, technological superiority was obvious. Mars pad and macro battery. Unholy amulets. I wonder what we are doing with those. Probably sell them. <coughs> okay, much better macro battery.
unmoved yet. Okay, that that went pretty well. Space space battle. Time to earn your keep, crew. Eldari Shadow Hunter. Oh no. Well, this is bad day. Eldari Tor appeared here too. Can destroy the better before they. Prepare for acceleration! Lance battery! Volley! Just Every shot counts. Shadow Lance, ouch. Yeah, they, they are fast. Neutron torpedoes on. Take no heresy. Okay, so. Helmsman, take us in. Let them taste our fury. Oh, Put the force sad. of a supernova. Make every shot count. and explode. Large battery, fully. Reinforce for 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 our shield. Let the void saw them out. We kind of ended a uh, ouch. Another victory for the von Valencius dynasty. Okay, wasn't that bad. Apparently, game is still. Trying to hammer us down yet, at least. Space Hulk was pretty hard. 
Monster of the Order of the Hammer. Lord Captain Hammer received transmission of the Fall Stone. It was sent by members of the Order of Hammer, what are you of Saint Cognatus here? This monastery is only a settlement on the planet. Or rather, used to be some time ago, transport vessel, then Navica unloaded several thousand refugees on a planet. Bloggy Rogue Trader Winterscale, the Order Hammer has just this invasion to be an act of aggression. And he's asking your lordship's protection. I will not abandon people of faith in distress. As it please you, lordship. <clears throat> Six score and eleven days after the feast of passing of the Ni Nico Nicodemus gift, champion of faith, this way to marry the claim. Calm the monastery of the Order Hammer, countless tortured souls, Stephen Fiar of the are of the false stone, Starbark. A great apostasy had befallen their home and turned them into a abject wanderers seeking help and refuge. Their wicked and cruel captain Ordo Navica betrayed them once an anonymous source. His care had me had made a landfall on the first surface. He most deviously recalled his shadows and left, thus ridding himself of his duty to care to the unfortunate lot. Not knowing how they would survive, Fallstone's grim wastelands, the forsaken people came to the monastery of Saint Cognatus, and they surrounded its walls, they hammered their fists in, on its gate and implored and veiled, take us in, protect us. And what the, was once, once a place of serenity and grace was now full thin disorder and all manner things discapable. The interlopers brought with the worldly futility and strife, and mayhap the seeds of alluring blasphemy is, if fiendly heathens lurk in their midst. The Tabrea prayed Hectarius turned this eye into the past, search of instruction. Saint Cognatus, man of great endeavors, a warrior and wise artifact, never covered. Behind the walls, a librarium, but stepped bravely in the darkness. And prelate he Hectarius did welcome the interlopers for me as his quests. But he did warn his brethren to keep their vigilance. They came. Okay. The brethren and sisters of the Order Hammer came to fought to meet the strangers carrying water, protein victuals, and medicinal herbs and jugs of prothemium. But the crowd came. The blows over beyond this and blood was spilled. Many were trampled or mouth of the stampede, some of them dwellers of the monastery. And then the warriors of the Order of Hammer donned the flag calls inscribed the words of praise to God and birth on their tactical visors and went forth, ready to learn their service in battle with last guns and bolters, pierced the interlopers with their chase swords and power fails, they struck them. Okay, so we can we can we can actually do something. For poker, for God. The hungry and sick lay siege to the monastery begging for help. Despite they blocked the water collector and powered the generator room. The faithful in the meantime made ready to resist. The God Emperor sent his champion, his continent, his right hand, the rogue terrator. Blessed hosts of Valencius made the light his great, they remind upon it forever. Prelate Hectarius and leaders of the Interpost to hold each to account for their deeds. This could be like one of the options, or you can be just dogmatic like Imperium tends to have uh, actually happen. But we could we could actually have a we could get some iconoclastic points and get get the improvement there. We could probably protect everyone. Here am I. <laughs> I 
Humbly the order hammer, he did the god emperor's confident and sealed the airlocks, opened the gates to it at the abode. After prayer, the architects set to work in accordance with the saints' teaching. The apartment of the fourth in standard template construct, they erected spacious living quarters and started fort walls for the planetary militia. Spaces out of the orium, wherein trade and store goods and provide sensorium within these walls. A new yet righteous way uh, of life came to Fallstone and people rejoiced. All was good. Okay, so we did something something good. And that's a, that's a colony. Only certain words are suitable to establish in thriving colonies. So these are colony pro projects. This is, this is basically our colony now. We can do some projects. Flamer. So second rank is to spy holiness. What do I need for second rank? Something needs to happen and the um, colony will flourish. People, that two people in the colony. Provisions, chemicals, plasteel. Profit factor. Can we get a second? This is this is they are doing this project right now. So we could actually now get to the Janus. Or travel. The route is unsafe. And uh, I just lowered this, this route here, so. Yeah. Ortics report the uncontrollable opening and closing of doors, gates, and airwalks. I see spirits, irascibility, and have spent hours contenting it and shoot their anger. Unfortunately, many crew members were badly injured before the brace could stabilize the systems. Lord Captain, according to telemetry, the parameters of the system at the co those Telicos Epsilon, home of the Agribird Janus that belongs to Valencius dynasty. We have received Vox message from the planet. The Agribird governor officially welcomes Rogue Trader and reports that she has begun preparations for formal reception to celebrate the arrival of the planet's sovereign. Your subjects are looking forward to your visit. Estate. you with the expectant air, but then gracefully blow bows her head, came in crafted implants, protrude from her arms and neck. Nice. I welcome you on behalf of the noble host Viat Ab Aram. My name is Vincent Janus Viat Ab Aram F. Kronos. By the grace of the Emperor, Emperor and the will of the rock trader Theodora von Valencius, I served as planetary governor. An Imperial Commander in Chief of this world. And greetings to you, noble Vesterian. It has been years since your last visit on, visit on Janus. I'm glad to see you again. It's a good sign when the rogue trader Seneschal does that visit a subject planet for 
a long time, isn't that co correct, Lady Viat? It means the governor is taking care of the matters, and there's no need for Senesal to interfere. I hear the praise in Thur's words, and thank you for them. In truth, your arrival in the play palace of the esteemed von Lady Von Valensis is quite unexpected. <laughs> okay, we can, we can be a very brash. Theodora Von Valensis is dead, I'm not the head of the dynasty. Such tragic news. I will seal that planet to observe some month morning. For Janus! Okay, why the Eldar shot them? It's a, it's a boar hammer, so of course there's like... Sedition. You dare cross a Kazbalikin. A poor decision. Mm, Give me strength! And this is why we never can get any... any cleanses the body! I won't object to it. Be gone! Be, be gone. <laughs> okay, that, that was a good start. Stop hating me, Ashmug! Ah, that's gotta hurt! For the weak, each strike is a prayer. I'll do it. Thirty. Okay, that's a mist. No, oh, of course. <sighs> she always missed. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll make it happen. Okay. Who broke my ball? There's heresy and insurrection all over the, this sector. Okay, that was interesting. Can you see any enemies here? I can't see. You've got a problem? I've got a price. Okay, no, no, we can actually. Oh, there's one, one here. Living on the edge. <laughs> you have a How about no? Watch my back. Don't get too cocky. At your beck and call. Ugh, an exemplary strike. Victory is imminent. I took care of this one. Estate warden, Lord, your lordship and the better preserve us. Are you all right? Do not fret, lay person. We are grown to use the out outrageous loneliness among the wardens of every world we visit.
<laughs> you killed the officer. You should be all flocked for a so net necklace. And who were there and how did they gain entry to a government estate? They are rabble who dare to raise their hand against planet's lawful authority. I beg you, Lordship. Let me to ask you inside the government will explain everything to you. Finally done. And that's why we can't have any nice things. Your Lordship, most honorable wake one not from Valencius, the governor is waiting you in her office, where she is protecting, protected by walls and guards. Would you prefer to meet her alone with your, or, or with your endurance? My interns will accompany me in my meeting with the governor. Your lordship, accept my object all policies and repairs will stunt that spot the reception even my in my worst nightmares. I could have never imagined. Start. I thought the firing and moving tar target was part of the ceremony. I don't care about your apologies. I could have killed being killed. I assure you, Lordship, I would never, I beg you, give me a chance to prove my loyalty, I explain myself. One of your wardens helped us in a battle, superb shot, who was it? You must be referring to Uriliet, a chief ally in the struggle against the rebels. I've turned the blind eye to her hor horrific mutations given the undubbed uh, advances she brings. You see, Yurilet comes from the local de degenerate stock of this world and knows Ten is like the back of her hand, so she has proved several leads as to where we can find bases and secret storehouses. The other I admit that at times I'm tempted to send her away. The estate here unnaturally she means that speaking with her always leaves me feeling uneasy, such a gaunt, unfeminine figure, and so tall. Did he, I, I hear you correctly, Governor Viat? You have a mysterious mutant <laughs> on your estate in, at this moment. One of the prodigious height, side, side, light build, and with supernatural talent for shooting. Did the arrival of this help, help and never give you pause for thought? Allow me to make myself clear. I ref do refuse. Yurilet's help in our circumstances would have been incredibly rash. These mutants are creatures abhorrent to the Empire, and they should be exterminated, but sometimes humanity makes exceptions. For those who can serve the Imperium. Yep. Like apes, for example. But that is not a mutant, by the way. <clears throat> I'm not concerned of that your aid is mutant. My former concern that she may be nothing of the short. Equanat, I would like to meet us, this helper of foreigners without delay. Out of professional interest. Well, he's from Order, Order Xenos, so, of the Inquisition. If you see, if you to speak uh, to Uriliet, you will find her outside in Oregonry, most likely by the gazebo. She prefers to keep her distance from others. Food for star station is worth some of starvation. and can challenge to supply the people there with provisions. Yes and no. Can such an expansion a fertile world as this one feed few thousand birds? Of course it can. We lose more provisions to Gnami pets every cycle than those of food for could eat their entire lives. 
But can we ship set provisions to food for? Not a chance. Any cargo shuttle that leaves the surface. We be a target for attack. The rebels will not hesitate to bring it down. Okay. Once the uprising has been all completely crushed, well, of course. What's happening on the planet? Several months ago, pressing broke out on Janus, like in every other planet in this sector. I was not even notified at first, crapping words and for the wardens to worry about. Alas, I only learned of what was happening after the miscreants began to target noble families. And it, then it became apparent that the administration accounts of, had referred uh, to as unrest were in fact organized attacks on the infrastructure and society leaders. They have already brought 13 uh, agri-complexes to a halt and have moved, uh, moved on the assassination attempts. But borders are doggedly tracking down the rebels, but their leaders are slipping from our grasp yet again. I risk angering your lordship, but this is nothing compared to shameless deceiving you. Let us consider the situation undispassionately. Even the most talented log logistics experts and administrators are unable to guarantee stable tides. The shuttles are wary of landing at the st spaceport. The terrified peasants are indulging in dangerous minority within their ranks. Until the usual order of things is restored on Janus, any trade is nigh impossible. Considering what has happened, your visit is true blessing. You see, Janus has not have its own fleet. We could organize a planet-wide search if he had ships or at our disposal. Ships like yours. Ground forces and ship crew work together to hunt down the enemy. Monsieur Governor will hunt down the seeds of rebellion and heresy on our planet and burn them to ass. Uh, the resolve and valor of the one Valencia's dynasty no, no, no bounds. I'm immeasurably thankful for your help. She, she's a bit concerned. If any of those who attacked the estate had survived, then perhaps they could have been a valuable source of information. Some kind of stranger in the area. Esteemed Magos, who is represent responsible for ergonomic efforts on the planet, is also here. Who is this person standing next to you? One of uh, my ladies in waiting, Amelia. Amelia performs secretary duties and helps me remain. Constant contact with those Mavenis who are most responsible for the productivity and prosperity of Janus. Okay. Made of honor. To bait in your light of your greatness is to true honor rock trader. Tell me about Janus. Remarkable world, both in terms of vast potential and terms of work that was carried out to transfer into an agri world. House Wyatt has ruled on Janus for many generations, and each new governor has, without fall, contributed to planet taming. This world was once a wild planet full of xenobeasts and utterly unsuitable for growth anything. Oh no! Oh no! just occurred to me that this planet might be a uh, Eldar <laughs> Maiden Worlds. One of the Eldar Maiden Worlds. That could be. <clears throat> to this day, despite our best efforts, Janus regularly rebels against that earthquake, tsunamis and emergence of new pests and weeds. That invade the uh, arable land, sometimes I cannot help to think that this world is endowed with consciousness. The consciousness of Cap, Grius and Stubborn Child. Likes to spoil everything that we have achieved. What do you grow on Janus? Helicon, flint, corn, and red turnip. 
Southern Hemisphere best tracks of land for the Crocs population. Crocs is their big or cow equivalent. And of course, I can fail to mention 7,000 acres of tilted land given to all the cultivating fermentable fruit for personal use and a limited export. <laughs> Pretty interesting that they have like four articles for one planet. Do you do all the here for fun when you have free time that is? in our circle, let me assure you there are enough noble families on world to keep boredom at bay. I frequently host quests. Your lordship and my servants arrange suitable entertainments from the power concert to private executions of the traitor who break imperial law. <laughs> I must take my leave. Okay, that was that was interesting. Enlightening. Curtsies, eloquent glances, even an immortalium. It has been a long time since I saw anyone observe the aristocratic rules of courtship, and so devotedly at that. Will you be putting that in your reports too, Van Kallox? You are without shame or conscience. If you dare upset Lady Cassia, by the stars I will make sure you regret it. So let's find the gazebo. Some stuff. Old servant. <clears throat> You are too late, white dogs. I'm the master of my own fate. It's you, Lordship. God Emperor must have brought you here. I beg you, help the rebels and save Sanders. Forgive me, your Lordship. If I don't know it's what you might eyes deceive me. We have little time now, but I swear I tell you everything. Nerve toxin. The invisible cessation of vital function is expected in no more than 60 seconds. So damn you, old man. Where did you get this stuff? What capsules of this sort are popular choice about desperate ass max? There's no antidote. You help the rebels gain access to the estate. Could have not done otherwise, no, I could not. Not after everything I've seen in the pla palace. People being shipped in and tortured, serpent being died, driven mad. For a long time I thought it was going to the inside of the estate. But when I contacted by the people on the, on the outside, I learned that all the is under death, but only by your mercy and light can the emperor can save us. In the name of Golden Throne, your lordship, so mercy with the humble workers south, south of Janus, save them. Isn't the Wyatt the untouchable governor and leader of the nobility is creating something monstrous beyond closed doors? She uses the Imperium's interest and smokescreen purpose of the scholar. Their actions, her actions are poisoning our planet. Did you know that settlements that fall pay their due tides on time? been allowed to pay with people instead. I've seen those people, I've seen them being developed to the estate. Then they never seen to or heard from again. They go into secret rooms and they don't come out again. Lord Lordship ever. What secret rooms? The James has been deep within the palace and never been inside. Thankfully, servants are. The servants who are allowed in the ones coming to us take chains. She changes them. British there, defiles them. 
You accuse rogue traders appoint governor of heresy. Job force of war falls. Words of force they themselves are taken to heresy. But if what you say is true, it's true, uh, then your sacrifice will be on credit, my good man. I'm uh, swear I'm not lying. Pray me for the sister, for me and for Janus. If you play me the diamond to make one last request, don't tell anyone that I was one who unlocked the doors. If you do, they'll go after my family, my home. I can keep your secret. Okay, that was interesting. Maybe the lady is actually ser serving Slanes in I always secret. keep my options open. Would it be the first noble to do that? Yeah, re rebel might not start from the... There, but might not Is start from the, from the lower branches of the society. Could be led by the. Leg, leg mechanic to win the legs. How my I sir? To do here. He plays deck part brother. Planet so possess any composition suitable for re-engineering the planet. The mass production of foodstuffs. There is a Xeno activity that do not pose an immediate threat to ongoing operations. Pointed structures of non-human origin. What what a lot of is in the flora and fauna. Genetic and chemical. Harmless CPC is mutated and become aggressive. Plants change their chemical composition and became Hence, this may be artificial. Interesting. Further exploration planet will perhaps speed up these processes. Total number of 253. Correction based on latest data, 211. Stable. Okay, interesting. Well, Arketa, don't blow up, she sailed. <laughs> Iliad Lenevis greets you, Elantark. Regrettable news. This creature is not a mutant, as the locals assumed, but a representative of the Eldari, one of the myriad enemies of humanity. You should not trust this creature. Do not communicate with it any longer than necessary. There is no need to mutilate my language, monkey. I speak yours well enough to converse with Elantark without a translator. And since you have discerned my path, I will be direct in my speech. My soul is nothing kin to yours. Your kind call us Xenos, as if we are all as one. I came here to protect the Lilithon by assisting the governor against her enemies. Will you hear me? Or be blinded to sense by your precepts. I 
talk about the attack. Uh, okay. To be honest, on the point, I understand was that you have no desire to fight. That's one thing we have in common. Mm. Reckless. Must I remind you, Master Van Kalox, that the warrant endows yep. rogue traders with the sacred right to have dealings with Xenos when necessary? That exceptional memory of yours seems to have let you down. Yeah, he, he doesn't like the Inquisitor. But yeah, that's that definitely true. Uh, rogue traders have a like variant of variant to actually even make trade with the Xenos. So we are we are in our rights. I have banished the shadow of doubt from your thoughts regarding my nature. Now you will answer my question. Why have you sought me out? I am Ellen Tark. My hand parried the death promise to the ruler of these people, and I aided you in battle against the Lost Ones. Why? This world is in distress. I wish to protect it from unnecessary suffering. Only that they threaten the established order. There is much risk to this world should the ruler die. Strange, strange tension in her voice. Do you know who is behind the uprisings of the planet? There is a malevolence here. That drives your kin down the path of violence. The world you call Janus was once created by the will of my kin. I have far more right to be on the Lilithon than any of you. I knew it. Spoke the Magus in charge of operations. He says something gone wrong with this world. The spontaneous mutation animal attacks. Maybe you have something to say about that. The Lilithon is expressing her wrath. For centuries, this world has resisted the brutality inflicted upon it by soulless machines and unmindful creatures. But what the machine man told you, that is something else. Something more frightening. The planet is fighting an evil that has taken root in its very cradle. Because that is what you are. Elantark means stranger from the darkness amidst the stars. You descended on flame-winged machines in a dark time when the air of the planet is soaked in blood and pain. Will you be the one to bring peace to the Lilithon? But you are not asking for help, Elantark. You are merely asking questions the answers to which are either unimportant or wreathed in shadow. Explore this place. Speak to those who know. A simple task for you, and an insurmountable challenge for me, since my very appearance provokes fear and suspicion. When you learn anything, tell me. Perhaps then my answers will be helpful to your search. You want you can join me. The none of the locals will dare to lose Askenens at you at the Interog Traders presence. So be it. I will go with you. Okay. With all due respect, <laughs> are you sure this is the right decision? We know nothing about this Xenos or why she has wormed her way into the governor's confidence. As far as I can tell, she isn't especially keen to help us. And yet, for some obviously dark reason, she has decided to take part in our investigation. My judgments and choices are for me alone, Monkey. If uniting with your master will bring peace to the Lilithon, then it is the true path. Do not get in my way if you value your next breath. You have not yet spent enough time among humans if you think threats will dispose me more favorably toward you. The decision is yours, rogue trader. But let me be clear. I will terminate your pet Xenos at the first sign of her non-compliance. Sounds great, fair. I am ready, Ellen Tark. Let us go forth. When I asked you, Rani, she's a ranger. Part of the outcast. Okay, that explains why she is here.
does not use human weapons and can wear either elderly armor or seal as the required feature Krukhari armor. Unique ability instantly ensures turn. However, at the start of the next turn, she will make an attack that always hits the target. Wow. Okay, so, um. I think we are going to drop the J out of this. Cool for a moment. Okay, so, let's see. Very perceptive. Florex, she knows. She knows her stuff. Awareness, very, very great. Pretty nice. Yep, she's Elder. Elder Ranger armor. Long rifle. We have extra, extra shuriken pistol, so. Drukhari weapon. Okay, so it needs a uh, Drukhari weapon proficiency to be able to use this. Doesn't use any, any human weapons or armor. Yeah. Let's see. Your kinsman would have delighted to learn the people wish to make pretty pressy paper of this remains. Besides, I could be wrong about the nature of his origins. What skull are you talking about? So he was sending it to food for. from my side. Their duties here. When did the collector ships last come to change? Last Imperial ships to come here did here did so under my previous uh, several decades ago. So yeah, uh, planets should actually produce tithe to Imperium, but since they are far warp travel is, is oh, like it is so they might, might not come awaiting the arrival of the transport ships okay so we need to just assault the rebellion rebels are interfering with the established process of the supplies and something serves work Without the signature of the most respected no deceased head of the Zacharis shipments uh, to settlements in the ages 24 have to be stopped. The heirs are still dealing with the transfer of holding and coming reports tell us that quarter of the workings in the affected settlements are already died in the, of starvation. But the most remaining have been left the perimeter and have not returned to the designed places. Imperium works in crazy ways. Range planet by the nameless star. I not to know the details. Security officer. Your lordship, please not, do not stray too close to the building. One of the terrorists on today's attack has hauled himself up in there. He could be dangerous. What's going on? Sweep the area after the attack. He's still in himself inside. We'll poison him and clear the last tracks of dirt of the estate. 
Why haven't you already done it? Go for Lord Chief Poison Barrels. Only we are just delivered. We are ready to begin now. I want to talk to the person inside. Are you sure? Not exactly safe. I want to solve this problem we have too much blood off us. GB's lordship. Miscalculations are for commoners. I don't make mistakes. I make profitable learning experiences. Bishop, you won't take me alive. Better pull a bullet in my brain than let me commoners dogs get their hands on me. Quires and minus 30. For a long time nothing happens, then the door almost with the quick click. Wounded rebel, it really is you. Your lordship have mercy, sovereign of this planet. Only you can have power to save us. You at this time of recklessness, I heard you said more than once in the Scholar program during my nobility aid. But use this on a time of directness. Let us listen to this young man before we judge him. You can be a dogmatic here. Okay. Save you from what? Come on, Viet. Everyone here knows that she's doing what she's doing to us. We have bought up so for a long time hoping that somebody would intervene and help us, but nobody ever did. Start the whole world in the slaughterhouse. People are on top of crocs from the settlements supposed to go to the palace and they're never seen again. So he's repeating the same thing that what, what other men said. Servants pour something over the fields and then people lose their minds. They start hearing voices and seeing evil spirits. While we are dying, she's sitting behind the white walls and feasting our bombs. What is this? Surrender fear of nature or something darker? Telling the people are seeing evil spirits. Yes, others are going feral and attacking their loved ones. And there's, and there's, people say that in some settlements, well, they stop of holding the law together, imperial law and the law of the basic human decency. People are turning into animals. Who's behind the rebels? Because I beg you, do not ask that. We can sell down brethren. It's over for me, but the others, I won't betray them. There will be no end of the war on this planet until I get the handle of the situation. I want to let meet your leader as long as you keep your words. Never been there at their camp, none of us, but only a chief saw one person at their base. He came a few times bringing weapons and orders. He said he represented a greater force than we could imagine. He said that the Varnamous dogs will pay for their reprisals in the settlements. But that's not where they are hidden. They have to keep their distance from ordinary walks. We are, have it all worked out so anyone gets caught, the others are gone with them. But I swept the chief's box. Thought that after I killed the governor, I could use the message coordinates to find the base and hide out there. That's everything I know. Get up and come with me. I'll give you my word as a rock there. You can it. Your Lordship, thank you. Thank you for this kindness. I never thought I would survive this. <clears throat> Please allow me to get uh, rid of this rat for you. Okay, yeah, you can be really... Okay. So this would be like pretty normal. This man is now uh, under my protection, see so that it had safely in custody until his fate is decided by a fair trial. With the deepest respect for your it will be done. Damn for the express and Time has to come to dispel the final shadows on our path. 
be hidden the truth from you. I know a great deal about those who are disturbing the peace. Their local ruler. I also know that where they are hiding. Allow me to show them your way. On the condition that you bring me to them. I don't think Rogue Trader needs your elevation now. Xenos, that is even assuming that you are not lying now as well. What an unexpected and suspicious elevation. Because my admission does sound like that, please believe me one thing. What propels me now is more important than the earlier silence. Everything you have discovered, everything you have learned from the, your kind, there are traces of some same calamity. Calamity that will e eclipse all the strife and wars. The face of this world. All signs were plain to see, but I was here to no gave faith to recognize the coming storm. Please follow me, Vek or not. You must. This world truly matters to you. What calamity are you talking about? We'll reveal the truth very soon, but not here, not in the place where it seems. Evil has made this nest. Peter Selantak, and trust me. <laughs> Excellent, I'm picking it a bad board without the living tax nest to shoot that. If one of the Imperium worlds is in danger, so be it. I will follow you. Let's go, Selantak. I pray the gods that we are not too late. Forest of Janus.